As parents, we love our children, but our relationships can become strained when we have a failure to launch adult child. If you're still supporting your adult children, you need to watch this video. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mike Ballou. The term emerging adult refers to a period of time in a young person's life between adolescence and adulthood. It used to be rather brief, but now it can last for years or even decades. Like a butterfly trapped in its cocoon, many young people seem to be caught in an endless process of becoming adults. A recent survey found that 80% of parents with children 18 or older have paid for some or all of their child's expenses. 56% have helped pay for groceries. 40% have paid for health insurance. 39% paid cell phone bills. 34% paid for car insurance. 21% paid for rent and 20% have paid for their adult child's entertainment. There is nothing wrong with helping our children. As parents, that's what we do. But when a child is old enough to support themselves, the best thing we can do is get out of the way. By the time a child reaches their mid-20s, they should be self-sufficient and living on their own. We all have to make our own way in this world. Listen, this is important. A lot of maturing takes place when a young person realizes they have to live with the consequences of their own actions. That son or daughter who used to leave every light in the house on and waste food will change their ways when they have to start paying the bills. Financial enabling is providing money to someone which allows them to keep doing what they're doing. Financial enabling comes in many forms including supporting an able-bodied adult child who refuses to work, bailing out a chronic debtor from one financial crisis after another, and serving as an emergency fund for someone who refuses to save or maintain good credit. Many times, enablers don't see that their good-hearted generosity fuels dependency. Their enabling removes any incentive on the child's part to do better or become self-sufficient. Enablers often believe that this handout will be the last, but it never is. It's called enabling for a reason. You are enabling your adult child to continue their bad behavior. They know you're going to be there and fix everything and make it all better so they don't have to do anything for themselves. They don't have to work, they don't need to save, and they don't have to resist the urge to buy things they can't afford. Look, we're not saying never help under any circumstances. If you have an adult child who's been financially responsible for a period of time and they experience a setback, help them. Any loving parent would do the same and it's a good investment. But if you have an adult child who is continually coming to you for money, whether it's due to overspending or insufficient earnings, something needs to change. A child like that will never have the motivation to do the right thing until you stop coming to their rescue. Are you still supporting your adult children? Are you a financial enabler? Sit down with your adult child and tell them that you're setting a deadline. By this date, you will have a job and somewhere else to live. Give them two or three months, no more. Tell them if by then they don't have a job and somewhere else to live, you're going to get an Uber and drop them at the nearest homeless shelter. Then do it. You may never retire if you don't stop supporting your adult children. You're taking money that should be going to your retirement savings and giving it to someone who is perfectly capable of supporting themselves. Someone who is younger than you, healthier than you, and more able to work than you are. Set a deadline and follow through on it. Someday they will thank you. Be sure to subscribe to learn more about retirement planning and personal finance. And always remember, a better tomorrow starts today and dreams don't work unless you do. Thank you for joining us. See you again next time.